Welcome to this demo on Stack Monitoring eBusiness Suite Discovery. I will be covering the steps to discover an EBS application within the Stack Monitoring UI. Let's get started. We will begin by navigating to the Stack Monitoring. First, we'll select Observability and Management, then Stack Monitoring. Once we arrive on the Stack Monitoring homepage, we will ensure we are in the correct compartment, then select Resource Discovery. This page provides visibility into all of your previous job discoveries. Filters allow you to find a job that has been submitted, and you can filter the screen by job status, resource type, and job type. Job history is kept for 30 days and resources, like an eBusiness Suite application, are easily discovered through the UI or by providing a JSON payload through the command line interface. For this demonstration, we'll perform a discovery of an EBS application using the UI. Let's begin. Select Discover New Resource. A flyout window will appear. This flyout will guide you through the discovery process. We will begin by selecting EBS from the drop-down list. After selecting the resource type, a curated list of fields are provided to help drive the discovery process. This list is unique to match the required fields for each resource type. We will begin by entering a resource name. Ensure your resource name is meaningful to the user. Let's enter prod EBS 04. The discovery process is unique to your version of EBS. We'll choose 12.2. Enter the host name of the database your EBS is running on. Next, enter the port. Enter the database service name. We'll enter EBS DB. Monitoring EBS requires a set of specific grants outlined in the EBS prerequisites in the Stack Monitoring Discovery documentation. We will enter the monitoring user's username and password. Stack Monitoring provides a script on creating a monitoring user with least privileges. For more information on the user and the script for the user's creation, see our documentation. Our monitoring user's role is pre-filled. If your monitoring user requires SysDBA privs, select that here. Now let's enter the details of our application layer. Enter the host in which your EBS application is running on. Now enter the port of your WebLogic admin server. We'll enter 7001. Next, choose your EBS application protocol. Our demo system is running on HTTP, so we have chosen the default of T3. If your application is encrypted, select T3S. When your EBS application is using encryption, additional fields relating to your trust store are required. Additional information regarding the configuration of a trust store and the configuration within the discovery can be found in our documentation. Next, enter your WebLogic username. Here we have chosen WLS admin. Then enter the user's password. Selecting the management agent field, a drop-down list of all known agents within your compartment are shown. This EBS application has a local agent, EBS 04A. With all the discovery fields populated, click Discover New Resource to submit the discovery job. Submitting a discovery job will return you to the Resource Discovery page within Stack Monitoring. Reviewing the list of jobs, we can see our discovery was successful. And selecting the resource name, Prod EBS04, will navigate you to the EBS application's new resource homepage. Thanks for watching.